All right, everybody, what is going on? Brian back with another live stream. And today, guys, it's finally here. The moment you guys have been uh, asking me, and I believe, I feel like you guys have been looking forward to this moment since I started playing Fallout 4. I feel like I've been seeing comments and uh, you guys in chat saying, Nuka World, Nuka World, Nuka World, and how great it is. And we're here. And I already told you guys, my idea for going in Nuka World is uh, we're going we're gonna to try to play it as savage as possible. All right? Savage as possible. Okay? It is. That, that's how it's going to be. I made that vow when we, when we, when we killed the, the railroad. That was my practice for my savagery in Nuka World. Okay, so really quick, um, I wanted to get my rifle off of, I believe, what was it? No, it wasn't. Where's Ada at? I thought I sent Ada back to, um... To this location but i guess she's not here yet. all right so let me go uh drop we're gonna clean out our inventory and uh we're gonna get set up and we're, we're headed out we're headed out like legit headed out it's gonna be it's gonna be great it's gonna be great so got my rifle we're gonna drop drop these this this keep all that I'm excited though, guys. I really, I really am. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of water on us. Let me uh, got some psycho jet. Got some regular jet. Well, uh, let me see here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some. I think I should have more water in my base here. Yep. Here we go. Fire King, what's up, dude? So we'll grab all that water. Um. Up that stuff. So I actually don't have a whole lot of five five six ammo. I wonder if I'll be able to get my hands on some when we get get to Nuka World. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Guy, I, I mean, what I, I I have to be savage. So if if killing what's his face is the savage way, then it is what it is. You know what I mean? But ah, oh. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna just... So we're gonna have to roll with the 45 until I get my hands on some more nine mil ammo. I think there's a ammo trade over here though I can hit. Hi. Looking for a weapon? Sure. Let's take a look. Great. All right. Please have some five five six. And you don't. Of course you don't. Why would you? You're my trader. Um. Excuse me. Looking to buy? Just looking to trade a little. Of course. Gatlin later is glitched and has infinite ammo. Really? Hey. Not many doctors around these days. Should let me take a look at you. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. Let's see what I can spare. Hey, these people don't have shit. All right. So, here we go, guys. Nuka World it is. Um... What is the quest? All aboard, right? So we have to listen to the Nuka World uh, family radio. And we have two levels. Um... Get that, and... Alright, 
right, here we go. Why can't I hear the radio? Okay, so I gotta travel to the Nuka World Transit Center, which is... Right up there. So we can, uh... We'll vert up there, and, and it's, it's go time. Yeah, I could barely hear the radio myself. I don't think I turned it up high enough. Arizona Ranger, what is going on? Oh, the lady from the Miniman sells ammo. Ronnie. <clears throat> Castle Armory is at your service, General. What do you need? Let me see what you've got. Take a look. There we go. 556. Five, of course she doesn't have 556. Five, the one caliber I need. She doesn't have it. It is what it is. Damn it. Guys, we're about to destroy Nuka World. I got this, alright? Rusty, what's going on? Well, Wes, I can't even save, dude, because I'm in I'm in survival mode, man. I, all I could do is do like the sleep saves, dude. That, that's the only thing you can do. All right, here we go. I'll find 762 rifles in Nuka World. Mmm. That's new. I got this, guys. You really think I'm worried about Nuka World? Many like, I told I'm. I'm 100% in my, my savage mode, okay? We're in savage mode. You guys told me that's what I would need, and I, I'm, I'm here and I'm ready. Milner with the sub, man. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, I have um, I have a mod installed that allows me to save whenever I want. But I just push a button. Are you guys ready? This is my mad face. It's my savage face. It's about to go down. All right. I'm not me and uh, so, uh, salt and vinegar potato chips. I need my wits face for the first part.
a long flight. Try to mini <laughs> trying to minigun dog meat. <laughs> Never guys. That was an accident. It was an accident. Stand by for landing. So we just gotta head this way. It wasn't. You sure that wasn't your constipated face? That, that was my mad face. My, my constipated face has a little more tears in it. Mountain Dew, man. How can you shoot the innocent cars? <laughs> Just don't lead them, though. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that super chat, dude. Alright, so let's get all fixed up before we head over here. Pop that. Um, let me eat some food. I should have went to sleep, but... It's too late now. Come on, what am I, what, what's going on here? Alright. Uh, maybe I had to go to the road. But like, uh, oh, yeah, I, I can see the Nuka Cola like building thing right there. I'm kind of nervous, guys. I don't know what to expect. Uh, this facility doesn't <laughs> looks like it's been shut down for quite a while. that signal until this place is secure if i see anyone violate protocol and enter that transit station before we're set i'll have your head now pick up the pace i want to be able to report back to cyprus asap cyprus it's gunners <laughs> Douglas, dude, thank you so much, man. We got their orders.
Try to see if they have any ammo that I can use. There, five, five, six. Nice. Let me see what the order said. Your orders are to investigate the new Coca-Cola family. Oh, so they're coming to check the same signal we were. Okay. Well, Colonel Cypress is not getting that update. I should have known. Raiders. That's what. Those bastards have my family. You. You gotta help me. Please. We're savage. I only help myself. What's in it for me? I can pay you. You bring them back safe, and I'll give you everything I have. Just hear me out. My family and I ran into some traitors a while back. Told us they knew a safe settlement at Nuka World. But when we got there, found out they were raiders the whole time. Just stringing us along. I managed to escape, but my wife and son are still back there. I wanted to get some help and go back for them, but didn't count on taking a bullet. That's what trust gets you out here in the Commonwealth. Sometimes hope kicks you while you're down. But sometimes, it lends you a hand. You're here for a reason. You gotta be. I turned on a transmitter here, hoping someone would come. I didn't think it worked, but here you are. It's gotta be a sign, right? So, please, I'm begging you. They're running out of time. If not for them, do it for the Caps. You bring them back safe, I can pay you. I swear. For the caps, you got yourself a deal. Oh, thank God. Here, take this. It's the password to the monorail control terminal. The fastest way to get to Nuka World is to take the Nuka Express, but I shut it down so those bastards couldn't follow me. Find the control terminal in the office, power it back up, and hurry. God knows how much time they have left. This dude wants me to help him rescue his family. Like, every fiber in my body wants to help him rescue his family. <laughs> Music though. I'm just doing a little bit of looting.
Guys, I said we're gonna be savage, not just cold-blooded killers. Like, Nuka World doesn't require you to be a cold-blooded killer. All right, let's see. Uh, power grid management. I uh, will activate power. Take the train to Nuka World. Dust Hound with the raid again, man. Thank you so much. How you doing tonight? Got you, dude. We gotta save his family, guys. We could we could be savage and save his family at the same time. Right? Please stand clear of the doors. Hey, Dustin, I appreciate you, man. The dust mites. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and on behalf of the Nuka Cola Corporation, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you aboard the Nuka Express monorail. For your own safety, please remain seated or utilize the provided handrails while the train is in motion. If you'll direct your attention to the right side of the monorail, you can observe Nuka World's famous Biztop Mountain. Standing at over 100 meters tall, this top mountain is the largest man-made structure in Nuka World and features the five-star Biztop Grill. Coming up in the heart of Nuka World, Nuka Town, USA. So, Harvey bagged another sucker to help his family. Can't believe that gag still works. I only got a minute, so you better listen, and listen good. The name's Gage, Porter Gage, and the truth is, you've been set up. This ain't no rescue mission, it's a death trap. But if you somehow make it through alive, I have an interesting offer for you. In the meantime, have fun and put on a good show. I'll be watching. <laughs> It's like that, guys. We are now arriving at the station. Please be sure to collect any children and personal belongings before exiting the Nuka Express. <sighs> Attention all my favorite undesirables out there. You have noticed, looks like we got ourselves some fresh meat to run the gauntlet. <laughs> they did me dirty, guys. They did me dirty. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to we got to embrace being a savage, right? I have another quest on. What quest do I have on? Oh, this one. Yep. Had a couple quests on, actually. That one. Yeah, we're good. Alright, here we go, guys.
Attention all my Okay. I was, uh, I underestimated it a little bit. Just a little bit, you know. I seen the one turret. I'm like, oh, it's a turret, really, dude? You guys are coming at me. That is saved. And he's off. The Slayer of the Institute. They're coming at me with some turrets. Inspiration from our previous victims. this note say psych's old letter won't last a day So I should be able to get some 556 five, out these turrets, I believe. Welcome to the family, son. Tough sound, dude, with the membership, man. Welcome to the family, bro. I really do appreciate that. Not this vacation any longer. We're all gonna die of boredom. Relax, dude. I didn't know I... I didn't know I was being timed. Some five five six. Five five six. I gotta become this savage, guys. There it is. Yes. So our little fit managed to pick one tiny little luck. Let's see how long the gauntlet lets him enjoy that one.
So we're able to bypass a lot of the shit there. Got it. Oh. Douglas, <laughs> you try to warn me, dude. I know, man. Doesn't seem very sturdy. This ain't gonna work, is it? You know what they say, guys. When in doubt, write it out. Okay, so when in doubt, write it out failed me. It's always straight. I think that monkey is playing your death march, bitch. He just called me a bitch. It's always third time's a charm. Nobody says that? Yeah, everybody says that, dude. That's where he called me a bitch. <laughs> you heard it, right? Some mega rads right there. Let me uh, get some anti rad stuff going. We're gonna pop some rad axe right away. We'll eat this. And we're getting mega tired too. Dude, I got. <laughs> he he must not know about me. We we uh we we've been there with the children of Adam. Okay. The children of Adam. Okay. Nice. Someone thinks he's a real tough guy, but the gauntlet ain't through with him yet.
It's gonna be pretty expensive for them to uh, rebuild this, don't you think? <laughs> After we came through. I like this because we're getting some 556. Do you guys hear that? Ghouls? Outsmarted by a monkey! Not our victim's best moment, but unfortunately not his last. Okay, I think he said Vic. Dude, you said that like put a password. To hey, Kevin, thank you for popping in and hanging out, dude. Definitely get that good sleep. Quake X1 with the sub. Thank you so much. Mm, thought it was going to be like super secret passage or something cool. No, they wouldn't. We did just get a level. I'm gonna go for that unbreakable lock lockpick. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll go for the unbreakable lockpick.
Tillion. Thank you so much for the sub. That's it. What the hell? God damn, Derek! That door's supposed to be boarded up. Right, the tone is starting to change now. Fire ain't even doing anything to me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ah, uh, troubles. Nope, uh, one. <clears throat> Sweet. That shit was, like, not even really doing any, any, uh, damage. So what we do here, uh... Okay, so we open the doors. Gas leak detected. Tur check turn by in status. Offline. Let's eat some food. <laughs> What is happening? Why are they so strong? Oh, it's for the whole swarm.
Bugs? Really? Those are new. And do a lot of damage. Let's get a move on. Doesn't matter what you do. The gauntlet. God damn, look who's in the home stretch. Time for a little audience participation. <coughs> Joe, what the fuck? Why is everybody so tanky? What's wrong? Afraid of a little blood? Is that somebody in power armor? Seriously? Well, I'll be damned. You know what that sound means? Get your ass down to Cola Cars. The main event's about to begin. Jesus, dude, what did I get myself into? Can I just blast? Oh, it's bulletproof glass, isn't it? You got me wired up yet, Gage? Yeah, boy. Finally. Now go shut off that damn alarm. All right. I'm on it. Uh, now where? Ah, there's my next victim now. <laughs> Don't look like much. Here's a quick rundown how this works. You go stock up. Make yourself presentable. Then we're going to give these folks a show. A show where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Thanks to this suit. I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. Think you're hot shit getting this far. <laughs> Think again. All right, Gage. Let him through. Let Something him through. Tells me I'm really gonna enjoy this. It's almost time. After a run like that, this ought to be the best slaughter yet. Remember, longest survival time against Coulter still stands at one minute thirty-seven seconds. All right, listen the hell up. If you want to make it out of this alive, I've only got a minute. Find the intercom on the wall. I'll make it quick. Who is this? I'm the guy that's going to get you out of this alive. So listen up. All right, I'm listening. My kind of guy. Look, <laughs> you <laughs> made it this far. You obviously got skill. This fight coming up is rigged. Do you get me? GG, Ad Bob. Over Boss Coulter. His power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? So how do I beat him? want to win. I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. Is 
Is it this? Bingo. Really? Is that really the weapon? A squirt gun? Is this a, a squirt gun? Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. <sighs> well, I've always wanted one of these. I would have made a great toy for Sean. Oh, great. You're a lucky day. Congratulations. Now we can get on with it. Once the water hits Colter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. Here we go. See you on the other side. So let me go ahead and equip our squirt gun. I can't believe this is really happening. Respect when he earns respect. Amen. All right, all right. Now get the hell out of here. I'll show the boss around. Just like that, we're the boss. What did I tell you? Worked like a charm. So you really wanted the Overboss dead? Dead. Out of the way. What's the difference? Either way, good riddance. The plan was a success. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> Not a bad plan. And what do you know? It worked. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast. But you need to listen. Taking out Colder wasn't just a last-minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, 
we've got ourselves a vacancy in the overboss department. And guess what? You just got the job. All <laughs> I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. Let's just say you've got my attention. Good. Then listen up, because I've got a lot to say. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. <coughs> I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Sounds like fun. Count me in. That's the spirit. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There. So, what raider gang am I a part of right now? <laughs> that damn power armor is heavy as shit. Oh, I'm I'm in charge of all of them. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was just a uh, a part a part of one of them. Let's keep the conversating between us, okay? Meet me in the overboss quarters. I thought I was like, I thought there was three different factions and I was in charge of like a single, a singular one of the factions. But no, come to find out, I'm in charge of all three of the factions. Or Raider Gang. Okay, so we are over encumbered right now. Ever since you guys took over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep. Is that a bomb necklace? We can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there, alone and unarmed. No! No, I'll, um, <coughs> get back to work. That's better. Like that around here, guys? You a sheep or a wolf? Because the pack only runs with wolves. I'm the boss. So how about you uh, watch who the hell you're talking to there, Sway Bay? Caught one of the traders stealing food. Yeah? What did you do to him? Turned him loose outside the gate. You serious? Yeah. Then I got in a little Take extra target tough? practice. Let's wrestle. Dumb Find out. Traders. Who's That's the traders? <laughs> Look, it's been real busy lately. <coughs> Guess things are going well. Oh, these are right. traders. Things will get better. One day. Yo, why they gotta make it sound so sad, dude? <laughs> what? What? Like that poor dude's face is just like, things will get better one day, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can go through with this.
It's Army Char. Thank you so much for the sub, man. I don't know if I can go through with this, guys. So, so, so let me get this straight. Some scaver makes it through the gauntlet, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow him? How does that work? He ain't even a raider. All I know is, Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long talk with Misha. In private. Gage? <coughs> Out of hell with that guy. What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. You want to know more about what's going on? Then maybe you should ask me. <laughs> what do I look like? An idiot? This place is run by just... Me. Savages. You haven't seen anything that's, um, out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden, shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there, like everyone else. I'm not here for the market. I didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping. I don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain, either. <laughs> so if you want to live... I suggest you stay where you belong. Oh, We're you over 200 likes, guys. Friendly, Thank you? you so much. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Agros, yeah. Thank you so much for the sub. Nuka World! I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is... Pretty impressive. It you know. sure is. You can just imagine the children oh. smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It, it must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled <laughs> all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola Museum? What's up with them teeth? Uh, yeah, the Nuka Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. All right, all right. So it's not that well known. <laughs> Thanks for trying to spare my feelings anyway. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. That's what happens when you drink too much soda, guys. Sure, whatever. You have fun with that. Will do. And you have fun doing... Um, whatever you do around here. So she's from the capital wasteland. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head um, again. You said helper? I mean, oh man, I think I broke my leg. Sierra. Hello again. Yes, I'm still here and still searching. Wasteland Wanderer with the sub. Thank you so much. I could help you out if you want. Oh, no thanks. I kind of need to keep this a secret. It's really important to me and I just don't know you very well. And Merc Smitty with the sub. I appreciate it. Sterling Vargas with the sub. Man, you guys are going ham. I That's three subs in a row. All right, let's see how this goes. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well, okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you can think of me as the world's biggest Nuka Cola fan. I've been obsessed with the stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Just get to the point. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. It's hard not to get carried away. I mean, I'm standing in Nuka World. We're playing so, New Vegas. Yeah, we're playing it for contest, sure. You had to find 10 images of Cappy, the Nuka Cola mascot, <laughs> hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. It's a hug, dude. The contest anymore. Everyone well, thinks you're awesome. Hey, I appreciate that, that Doug. Seriously, man. Is the original Nuka Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. Sure, why not? 
Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here after all. You should learn everything you can. I run the place, I'll lady. My cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! We're so heavy right now. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my time. Almost there. <coughs> Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. We're almost there. I hope I got like a chest or something in here where I can store my shit. Oh. Ryan with the sub man. Thank you so much. Welcome. Gage. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here. Oh, my bad, dude. Hey, Gage. Welcome home, boss. <laughs> the digs are like we're playing now. MGS5 Metal Gear again. Look. Welcome home, boss. Peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control. Everything the sun touches, Simba. Is your kingdom. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. Thank you, guys. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, <gasps> world is yours. We had a good head start on it. A lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we pushed in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. You know, I think I heard of you. Some big shot with the Brotherhood of Steel, right? Oh, they shit. Ain't that different from a raider gang, you ask me. Just try and act all legitimate, but they still just take what they want. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing, how, he, how does he know about me? The gang's behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. <laughs> They'll listen if they're all afraid of me. Okay, settle down. Most of these psychos have seen shit that'd scare your nightmares. They're not gonna be that easy to intimidate. 
Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw <coughs> this up. All right, guys, we are freaking... That's a nice spot. We got a chest right here. Yes. All right, let's get some of this heavy-ass shit off of us. We got so much stuff on us. Oop, uh, drop that. Alright, we're no longer <laughs> so heavy that we're gonna die. Alright, here we go. Um, let me see. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sleep, so I'm probably gonna grab some sleep right now. My dude, my dude, it's like so tired. Um, yeah, we'll eat this. And then we'll sleep. Romance gauge. <laughs> yeah, Buff wanted to help me though in that situation. I was like, I was carrying out that armor and that shit was just, it was crazy heavy. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and uh, eat. And uh, we just talked to Gage, right? He'll get us pointed in the right direction. Oh, no, no, okay. Gotta meet the Need gangs of the pack. The Fizz Top Grill. Gage with me? Oh, Gage is a follower? Oh, shit. Oh, I can't take him until that. Okay, I was like, I was gonna say I didn't. I didn't see an option to have him follow me. Okay, so we got a group over here somewhere. Here we go. So we're going to meet all the leaders. Of the respective, like, plans or whatever. Watch yourself, boss. Because we sure will be. 
Chloe, thank you so much for the sub. These guys are definitely... They're testing me, okay? Come on, girl. You know we should run this place. Not some little greeny Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Their armor is pretty fucking cool. And make sure the others get the message. They're, they're talking about me. Hey. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet, you killed Coulter, with Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss, but that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... Alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. Jesus. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. <laughs> you call that a gauntlet? More like a cakewalk. Do cakewalks end in death? Because if Gage hadn't helped your ass, you'd be dead right now. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here, and never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up? And I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Hey, asshole. You're to yeah. Overboss, boy! Just like that, guys. Over, boss. That wasn't even a hard, like, sell. If you come across any herbologist crazies, just ignore them. I told those freaks to stick to their camp.
Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Yeah, well, there's going to be some changes. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. Nisha really only has one rule around here. She didn't want to hook me up. Don't Hell, get caught. In that case, she deserved it. It's a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> I mean, this place is, it has a very, it, it feels like a raider town, like legit. You're gonna head on in over, boss. Operators. All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice a vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Damn. They're on to me. Oh. These people look fancy. How are they bandits? They look like... They look high speed. Harley with the sub. Thank you so much. Hey. Well. Wow. I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the we'll only start with the sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. The ones who see this place for what it is a temple, a testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Soda? Oh, shit. I can actually say it. Um, soda? <laughs> Not quite. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Yeah. Yeah. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, oh. you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. So can you make a lot of money here in, 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 in Nuka World? Some jobs for us. You just come speak to me, and we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Mags, William, and Lizzie. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born into this life. Feeling good about this, guys. I, I can feel the savagery just bubbling up. Like, do you guys, you guys see it in me, right? You guys understand I'm about to be the best overboss there is, right? Max and William normally have me frisk visitors. But you... And you guys thought I was going to have a hard time. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Hey, what's going on? Ah. 
Go in the market? I'll go in the market. I ain't worried about the market. Let's, get, let's, let's meet up with our last group here. Ain't no one sad about Coulter. Just don't screw this up. Bro, you, yes. What are you doing? Sweet, bro. Nothing's even moving, dude. Huh? You said I don't have the heart to be cruel. <laughs> look! Look at this man. He's sweeping the ground. He's just, he, he's just trying to look busy. Huh? He's just trying to look busy. I'm the boss. You think you can you think you can trick me? You think you could tr Think you could trick me? Huh? I can't do it, guys. I gotta reload it. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. That poor man was just trying to sweep. He was just trying to sweep. <sighs> if you ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. He was just trying to sweep, guys. <laughs> oh. Soft. <laughs> no, that see that was not being soft, guys. That was No. I walk right up. Exactly. Most can handle their own shit, but I bother you. Do you need help finding your place here? No. No. I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the campus if you can. Gotta chase if you want to kill. Now that I get a closer look at you, I'm not sure I'm buying this new overall You gonna be a problem I need to solve? Slow down, that boss man. We're just getting to know each other. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be over, boss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. I'm not here to make us friends. I'm here to make us some caps. I think we can all respect caps, not each other. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Colta. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah. I'd run this place in a heartbeat. You might have to. If you turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. Dude, love your heart. <laughs> That's why I said, hey, Douglas, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that super chat, dude. 
Coulter was weak. Why'd you follow him at all? We we look so damn cool, like Coulter was. He's looking at me and he just sees I'm the boss. Things were good in the beginning. Feel good. That was a year ago. Then Coulter went broke. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. Like he he's looking at me and he's like, damn. Dude, you're the overboss. Like, I just look like the overboss right now, don't I? Like, if, if this guy walked up to you, you're telling me you wouldn't be like... Just blown away? I'm listening. Sure, this place was living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of cats we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Even the disciples. And they're normally a chip a bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. The game right got us together. Promised to find someone to deal with the war. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I only know what I've heard. The story is that the Gage knocked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe he lets him get things done without getting bored. After Coulter went soft, he got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone off cold. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all The along. dog is so loud. I'm not Coulter. So that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Well, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, there, boss. Not in front of my guys, all right? You don't have to worry about it without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. You know what? I think we're not so different, me and you. I want you to have this. Consider it a token of our mutual understanding. Respect. Yo, that man just gave me the damn problem solver right off the bat. We're in here. Yeah, I'm about to kill these damn dogs. They're so damn loud. Increased damage after each... Oh, man. Yeah, that thing looks pretty lit. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here. Keep the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop off. Loyalty is a two-way street. Mason tarred and feathered the last alphas. Ain't been seen since. And ain't smart to go after them. I'm ready, guys. I'm I'm ready for Nuka World. I thought I was gonna have to be like really savage, but so far I'm just like walking around talking to some people, and it's Mason's been waiting for you. It's not that bad. So where's the market? Besides me in the, oh in that circle. So you guys said I need to go in the market. All right, here we go. Weapons of all kinds, yours for a fair price. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Need supplies? Got a little of everything here. Come take a look. A missing person. And I'm not gonna 
bother reading it. Come on, you all know that missing Looking to chill out dead. or get fired up. You all ever the way feel like I got just you a sheep or a off. wolf? Because the pack Dead only runs with wolves. He knows what it's like. The raiders keep talking about blood worms. I hope I never find out what those are. Hey there, boss. You really laid a beat down on Coulter. That was something. Guess that means his big plans for the park died with him. Big plans, huh? Did that include getting killed in his own arena? Well, of course not, boss. Back when Coulter first took over, he had big ideas, and he made some big promises. His plan was to get the power plant back online and light up the whole park, making it easier to conquer and safer for all of us. We could have done it too, but things changed, slowed down. Coulter stopped pushing, stopped caring so much. Sounds like he just got comfortable. Not my place to say. But I've heard some of that talk in the gangs. Well, I'm just a traitor, so I know my opinion doesn't count for anything. But I still think it's a good plan. Hell, I might even give those poor bastards out in Dry Rock Gulch a fighting chance. What poor bastards are you talking about? Back when the raiders took over, some of us, the traitors who were here before, I mean, got away. Last I heard, those folks were holed up in Dry Rock Gulch. They're probably struggling if they're alive at all. You think you'll follow through on Coulter's plan? Get the juice flowing again? You seem pretty well informed about Coulter's plans. Well, yeah. Coulter needed my input on getting the power plant running again. I'm sort of the unofficial chief handyman around here, or as close as we've got to one. Guess you could say I've got a vested interest in the plan to get the power back on. Speaking of which, do you think you'll see it through? Coulter's plan, I mean? Coulter had the right idea. I just might finish what he started. I hope you do, boss. Truth is, I've dreamed about that day more than once. Not sure why, really. Maybe I've just grown attached to the place. What with all the work I've done on it. It sounds funny, I know, but... I think Nuka World is something really special. I think she deserves to have her lights shine again. And just imagine, at night you'd see it for miles around. Folk would talk about it. They'd come from all over to shop in the market. That's a lot of caps for you and the gangs. You've wasted enough of my time, Scab. Get back to work. Whatever you say, boss. Sure, I'm here to trade. But I'm not letting my guard down for a second. Supplies of all kind for your journeys across the Commonwealth. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Don't worry about me. I I'll stay in line. Yeah. We're the boss. Came a long way to see this place. I'm, I'm gonna be able to do- we're running this place easy, guys. Oh, talk to the vendors? Oh, they're not like- are they like- they sell- well, I didn't really want to buy anything right now. There's no reason why I didn't talk to them. This place really makes me want a Nuka Cola. Is she a doctor? Hey there. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. Why would you congratulate me? It's not like you're free to go. Well, to be honest, I, I don't know you yet, boss. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That, and well, I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... You could... Um, well, you know... Get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. 
What? How dare you suggest something like that? I should have you shot. Okay, okay, I get it, boss. Just take it easy. There's no need to get angry. Just forget I said anything, okay? Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. I treat everyone, raider, traitor, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies, too, if you're looking for those. Not today. Very well. Just here to pick up some supplies, boss. Did you guys hear what she tried to suggest? Robot Hi. Like a bottle? The boss comes calling. What's your pleasure today? Gonna pass. Hey, no problem. She's lucky I'm new here. Should have took her out. A little off. If you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's asleep. Hey there. Hey, boss. Gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. You don't know anything about me. I could be a lot worse than he was. You're absolutely right, boss. I shouldn't have said that. It was stupid of me. So, uh, what do you think? About running Nuka World, I mean. Figure it must be a pretty tough job. Keeping all these raiders in line. I wasn't really looking to become the overboss of Nuka World, but I might as well enjoy the benefits of my position. Makes sense to me. Well, I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Or were you here to pick something up? Gonna pass. No problem. The traitors here are no better than slaves. Poor bastards. I'm not well, looking for trouble. Well, look just, who it is. Just some good are you deals. Here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir. Lose the attitude, or lose something a lot more valuable. Sorry, I know you didn't ask for this. It's just hard not to be bitter, you know. We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. But I guess it doesn't really matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Yeah, but you're a slave with all his limbs still attached. For now. You're right. Life is wonderful. Thanks so much for opening my eyes. <sighs> now, if you need guns or ammo, I'm the one you talk to. And before you ask, yeah, everyone pays. Even you. I'll take a look. Sure. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. This 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 is hard. It really is hard. I'm gonna try out the AK later on. Like. Am I am I am I coming off as a as a good you know raider boss? Am I doing good? I'd bring my kids here someday if not for all these raiders. I feel like I'm I'm setting the standard as a good overboss, you know what I mean? All right, let's get back, talk to Gage, and then I'll I'll be going to Coming off as a wimp. What? They fear me. Oh. Hi there. I could just take anything laying around the market, really? Well, I mean, I am the overboss. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Yeah, a good <laughs> it is an oxymoron, a good overboss. Don't get caught. Let's talk to Gage here. 
get settled in, and then I'm gonna be headed to bed, guys. I got my dental appointment in the morning. Glad I remembered. The cafe dialogue will prove if I'm a good raider. Now you guys got me nervous. Just remember shooting a couple kneecaps every now and again is good for the whole gang. <laughs> Gage, let's see what you got for us, dude. The overboss returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopaths. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. They'll do what they're told. That's all that matters. Oh boy, okay. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. I thought the whole point of having minions was to get them to do the dirty work. Yeah, yeah, give it time. You still got to prove to them you're worth following, remember? So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together, so I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. That sounds like a great idea, Gage. You've got a deal. You're the overboss. All right, so we have officially started Nuka World, guys. Look at that view. This place is going to be ours. Um, so I got to secure these different areas. Well, there's quite a few areas we got to secure. And uh, that's what we're going to begin with next episode. We're going to start pushing, taking over Nuka World. Uh, and, and really, you know, digging into that savagery in, inside me. I'm going to muster it. I promise. Uh, but again, guys, like I said, I'm going to end tonight. I got a dental appointment in the morning. Um, I do appreciate you guys for hanging out tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying this. The place looks a little dusty. <laughs> but thank you again guys if you haven't already on your way out the door please smash that like button if you guys are enjoying us or over 260 likes uh that is awesome i really do appreciate the love and support today um if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and uh landon with the sub i appreciate you man and uh yeah we'll be doing some more stuff tomorrow after my dental appointment um got some stuff planned probably gonna do some horizon zero dawn at some point and um some other stuffs so again guys thank you so much for everything you guys do for me and i'll see you guys in the next one